What kind of magic can we create with these materials? Let's get started and find out. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to play around and make some fun, funky colored coasters. Um, I'm pretty sure whoops, they won't match very many people's decor but they're very they're going to be very festive they're going to be very bright very beautiful and i can't wait to see what they look like so my first step i'm going to do this in two different steps <coughs> sorry and my first step is to Get these little pieces of fluff and stray glitters that are flying around in my art room. I was doing glitter tumblers, so it's uh, it's very magical in here right now. Yes, I'm going with magical. Um, okay, I'm going to leave this here in case something else flies in. Okay, so, um, like I said, I'm going to do these in layers. The first step is going to be, I'm going to put down some clear. And, uh, the clear... is the KS Resin Liquidy Split. I don't usually use this in molds, but it's going to be so thin that I think it's going to be just fine because it does heat up really quick because it's a quick cure resin. So, being that it's going to be thin, it will be fine. If you're pouring a deep mold or you're doing like coasters, all in one step, then I don't recommend the liquidy split. I would go with the liquid art or the casting resin. Um, but I'm doing it in stages. I just don't know. I'm struggling right now with this is the glitter that I made that I used to make these little embellishments. And they are so pretty. It's called Smurfette. Now I have the Chunky and then I have the Smurfette Fine. So I'm wondering if I should just sprinkle the Fine on once I get the clear in or if I should actually mix it in with the clear. I think if I put it on after It's going to add depth. To it. I'll figure that out afterwards. Okay. So. I'm just going to pour some resin in here. In each one.
Now this liquidy split is a fast cure. It is kind of like the quick coat from Stone Coat. Um, only with all of the great properties of all of KS's other resins, which is the heat resistant up to, I think, 450 or 475. It's got the UV protectants, um, FDA, FDA compliant. So, um, unlike Stone Coat Quick Coat, this can actually be used as a top coat for like serving trays or um, glitter tumblers. And things like that, which, I mean, when you're doing uh, glitter tumblers, to be able to get on to the next step within two hours is kind of a game changer. Also, if you're doing geodes, to be able to go to the next step right away instead of a geode taking you three or four days. Um, you can go, you know, just give it enough time to set up enough to be able to, that you know it's not moving. So, I mean, you'd be able to go on to your next step within a couple hours. And this is actually a full cure. Um, uh, you know what, I'll have to. I'll have to look because I want to say like the full cure in like three days or something. I don't know. I'm going to look and I will put it up on the screen as we're talking. Um, so... Yeah, I think these are going to be kind of funky. I might even use that holographic uh, that new glitter I got. Um, it's like shredded mylar glitter. Super cool. I don't know. So these aren't going to be like, I know I'm using the geode molds. They probably would have been prettier in my diamond edge mold, but oh well. All right. So now I'm going to just get rid of the bubbles here. I have my heat gun turned down to just warm. So that I'm not going to damage the mold at all. So I'm really not even warming up the resin. I'm just just getting the bubbles. Because you don't want to use a torch. On your molds. Can I ever have just one, just one day without a koja hair in my piece? So another way you can get rid of the bubbles also is with a lighter. Just run it around. A torch is very aggressive. So you can hurt your molds and then they won't demold very nicely for you. 
All right, so for now I'm just going to stick these in. These are made with just a little, a little mold. I made some coasters a while back too. See how pretty they are. So sometimes when you put your, um, you know, here, sparkly centers or whatever in your coaster molds or in your coasters, they get, uh, they spread. So I thought these would be a cool idea to just put them in. The centers. Now they are the same width as the coaster. So it works better because then your resin doesn't run up over it if you overfill your coaster. You just kind of want to press them in and make sure that there's no bubbles. Again, if you hear whining at my door, it's my bulldog because she thinks somebody's here because I'm talking. A bubble right here where I want to set this. So I need that to come to the top. I'm sure these aren't perfectly centered, but that's okay because we live in an unperfect world, right? Okay, let's get those bubbles that I created. And then I'm going to pour... rest of the resin in these don't have to but I have it here so I'm not gonna waste resin because that's just silliness As you can see, my cup looks very scary, right? But I assure you, it's clean. I just reuse them. And this one's one of the ones that have been used quite a bit. So I just kind of put the stick in there like that, and then I pull the resin back out when it's all dry. Uh, again, it's not perfect. This one's kind of moving.
All right, one more time for the bubbles. All right, guys, so that's it for step one. Um, oh, Christ. Bobo, you're fine. I don't let my dogs in the studio because of fumes and stuff. Can't really put a respirator on them, right? If I was like outside or something, it'd be different. But I'm not. All right, guys, there's quite a few bubbles here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my mask on because I gotta turn up my heat gun because the warmness is not enough. So I gotta put my mask on and really heat it up to get rid of them. Hang on, I know. Okay, so when you're heating up resin a lot like that, you really need to wear a mask. All right, so this is it for step one. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I was going to sprinkle some of this. This one is defined. <coughs> or should I sprinkle some of this? I don't know. When we come back, you'll see what I did because I got to sit and think about this for a minute. So I'll be back shortly. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, these are still very bendable, pliable, but they are set up enough to do a second layer. So, um, it's actually only been about an hour and a half. So, I'm going to show you these colors. I already showed you the colors in the bottle, but I'm going to show you. This is Wild Jasmine. These are from, these are resin art colors by Color Art. Um, she has products for acrylics, which are primary elements, and these are the resin pigments. They are made specifically for resin, and they have a, um, they're already moistened moistened so that they just melt right into the resin and as you can see there's a lot of shimmer there that's wild jasmine 
This one is Surf's Up. One of my favorite blues. Gorgeous. And then this one is Celestial Skies. And this is um, the resin art line also. But she took it a step further and did a Diamond Galaxy line. Look at that. Keep in mind, that is not glitter, that is mica. All right. And I decided um, the glitter that I sprinkled, I didn't use the big chunky stuff or the Smurfette. I decided to use and sprinkle just a little bit of the Heavenly from Fran's Glitter and More. All right, let's get down here. So I thought I was just going to put like strips. Now mind you, these are going to be the back of the coaster. Okay. So I'm kind of designing upside down. So this is going to be the back of the coaster, so um, but normally when I say that, I usually like the back better than the front, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> we will see which one works best, but I thought I was going to use one of these. I haven't done this in a long time. I haven't used one of these syringes in a long time. But I thought I would just like suck some color up and just kind of like do some lines in one, do some block coloring in the other, maybe swirl some. They don't have to completely match as long as they're in the same colors and all that stuff, then we can, um, they can still be a set. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so let's see if this works. Ultimately, I will be using the same plunger for all the colors, so. All right. Well, this is going to be a hot mess. <laughs> so, yeah, you can have fun with it. Let's just do um, Okay, so that's that one. I'll get as much out as I can. But I guess it's really not going to matter much. Uh, let's do the other blue first. How pretty is that blue? Mm. Okay, come on. Yep. 
Okay, this is the Diamond Galaxy called Celestial Skies. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> we'll put some down here too. Never done this on a coaster. I've placed it like this on um, paintings, but this is pretty fun, I must say. color blocked right here. Probably going to swirl these into each other. Cross over here. Oh my god, you guys, this is so crazy fun. All right. So I can't get the last of it. So we're actually going to cross over from one of the blues to the other. Trying to bring it in. Oh my god. These are going to be so funky, I hope. If they're not and they don't turn out, it will be a shame, but I won't regret it because uh, this was fun. All right, let's get into this jasmine. See what kind of beautiful things she's going to do. Now I'm going to have some blue in here. So it's probably, there's going to be a point where it mixes and it's going to be purplish. But who cares about that, right? Come on. Ugh. Ooh. Look at that. That's pretty. Oops. We're dripping. Um, so I guess we'll just start there, being as I dripped there. It's so weird that the blue is in like sections.
guys, this is so fun. I know I keep saying it, but I can't help it. I do still have a little bit of clear left. Now some of this is going to stay like, again, on the bottom, but the, where I put it on the clear, where there wasn't any color, you're going to see it through there. Like that spot right there. Totally can't wait till tomorrow. Yeah, technically it is tomorrow. So, totally can't wait till later on today. <laughs> Whoa! Calm down, Lisa. Okay. Oh my gosh. So cool. So I still have some of this blue left. I'm probably not going to use it all, but I am going to fill in some areas. And I'm going to drop some clear. Actually, I'm going to take some of this clear. Oops. Oops. And I'm just going to put it in here. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I was going to clear out that end, but apparently it's not going to happen. So. You know what? I think I want to inject some clear, but I want to make sure that it's clear. So we're going to sacrifice another syringe. in the name of experimenting.
Okay. So if I just drop the clear, here, I'll show you. If I just drop the clear, it's going to go down and like make like a little window, right? That I can see from this side. But I want that window to be able to be seen from the other side when I unmold these. So I want the clear to get up underneath the color. Does that make sense? I don't know. Don't know if it'll work, but let's shove this bad boy down there. And we'll see. I can see the pink. Coaster mold. So. As long as it doesn't move, which it will. Coaster actually needs a little bit more resin. Oh, this is the one that I did the pink. I put the clear in it. So it's probably got enough pigment to make it. To make it work. It's a little bit different tone, but it's pretty. It's like a transparent wild jasmine. I guess it's just just jasmine. Not so wild. So it's like domesticated jasmine. Just kidding, guys. That is not the name of it. Wesley's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Calling jasmine domesticated. She's wild. But when you tone her down, she's not so wild. Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. You guys did not just see that. Jeez. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I got a little bit more clear left, which coaster needs more resin in it. Over here, I kind of lost my window. And I'll probably lose it again. But on the underneath, I'm hoping it would show. Who knows, guys? This is so exciting. I can't wait till tomorrow.
These are the brightest coasters I've ever made. I will go on record stating that. I do have some of this blue left, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Uh, full, full. This one actually isn't that full. So I'm just going to add some of this where I already have that same color. All right. Okay, I think I'm gonna be done here. Oh my God, these are gonna be so fun looking. Okay, I'm gonna pop the bubbles. I don't want to move them around because I kind of want them just to blend naturally because I like the separate colors and we'll see if they'll stay separate. If they blend, they blend. No big deal. But see how my hearts are the same size? So that works out good. I mean, of course I could cover them up. But I kind of want them to stay kind of like transparent through there, right? All right, guys. <laughs> now, I know people are going to ask, hey, what do you do with them when you're done? Basically, <laughs> probably going to be tossing them. I have tried taking a cup with alcohol and like, shh, like sucking it in, blowing it out, sucking it in, blowing it out. It did help. It did work. But, When I so I thought, okay, I got it. They got it clean. So when I brought come back the next day to use it, it was completely epoxied shut. There was nothing I could do. So there was just enough epoxy still in these tumbler things that I couldn't do anything. So do I clean them out? I try. Does it always work? Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. But. It is what it is. Sometimes we're wasteful for the sake of the art. These are going to be so cool. Okay. I took you out so that... <sighs> These are so funky. That glitter matches these colors. I couldn't get it any more perfect. The glitter is called Smurfette from France Glitter and More. And these colors are from Color Art, the resin art line. I have coupon codes in the description for 20% off the color art colors, which are these are the three I used. They'll be listed in the description also, along with 25% off. Uh, coupon code, which is Lisa Wyatt Art 120. And do I keep saying 25? No, it's 20% off. Color art. I don't have a coupon code for friends. I am not a glitter affiliate. 
I am just a fan. Um, but yeah, okay. I can't wait till tonight or till tomorrow, which is actually later on tonight. Uh, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back with the unmolding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get them all out of the mold. And then I'm going to give you a close-up. But we're not even going to look at them until the close-up. So I'm just going to set them down the same way. I guess I probably could have done this before you come back but then you guys would have thought I peaked these molds come off so good heck that one almost just popped out all by itself okay let me come over there So if the bottoms don't look very good, uh, the tops are still kind of cute, right? I'm trying to get this light. Okay, ready? So this is the top that we designed. So I mean, even if the bottoms don't look good, the top still looks super good. This is raised up just a bit, but I can put like a light clear coat over it and it'll be good to go. Let's see at the bottom. There's where all that shimmer is from the Diamond Galaxy. So, yeah, either side. Either side would work. Let me know which side you like better. Let's check this one out. There's one of my clear little windows. These are so funky. I don't know whose house they'd match. Maybe Dr. Seuss. I don't know. It'd be really cool to have like out by a pool in the summertime. I knew these were going to be cool. <laughs> Even if you guys don't like them, they were still so fun to make. Especially with the little injector. So I wonder if I would have just, like, I'm already thinking about the next coasters. So, like, if I was to put the clear, let it cure, and then put the lines in, let those lines cure, and then cover with clear, I bet it would look super cool. I think I'm going to try that. So cool, guys. What do you think? Do you like the fronts or do you like the backs better? Here's the back and here's the front. Very funky. And then here's the little butterfly I did with the leftover resin. 
so that can go into a future piece also. Maybe into one of the coasters. Maybe I'll make some butterflies and put them in the coasters. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. I will um, get these set up and give you a close-up video shot at the end of this. And thanks for joining me guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Okay guys, here's a close-up. These are so shimmery. I think I like the tops better after I'm looking at them because there's more pink. But either side would look cool. See how the pink's just kind of disappeared? I mean, they're, both sides are really funky looking. So cool. And these are just little molds I made with the same glitter as I used for the centers. It's called Smurfette. So I think I will call these coasters Smurfette. Thanks for joining, guys.